What's cooking, cracking, and popping, YouTube? It's your boy Desert Eagle Gaming here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we take a look at the Quake Taylor race, which took place at the legendary Laguna Seca in the Group 4 cars driving the Genesis G70. I qualified in P2 for this race, but unfortunately finished in P4. But in my mind, I won because there were some real shady moves from P1, which made me lose two spots. Let's take a look at the race, and you will see what I mean. South at Laguna Seca for five laps. We qualified in P2. The time of 130.616. Let's try to convert that into a win. Since this was a short race, I'm gonna let the video play through and see what happened throughout the event. And just for reference, this is the guy who ruined my race later on. Let's keep watching. A bit too harsh there on my overtake. Oh, I lost one spot. we down in P3. It's all good because we're still in one pack here. The pack 3. So, uh, win is still possible, fellas. into him but thankfully it didn't I better go wide we got past the slab up in B2 Just let the car coast in third. Nice. Final air 
doing. We're still very close to P1, we're very nice as we engage lap 4. Whoa, oversend there, buddy. Come on, man. Come on, dude. gap here between me and P3 and he's oversending the car pretty sure he's gonna make a mistake Come on, man. No, oh, he ruined my race. Jesus. That, no, man. Come on, man. What a loser. Let's take a quick look at the replay from his point of view. So yes, definitely on purpose, a sore loser's move. You lost them and you were slowing down, you had a penalty, come on. You didn't win, you didn't win my guy. I have you on video. What a loser man, what a loser, unbelievable. This sucks because you race as clean as possible and you have some dumbass who does this at the end of the race, literally at the end of the race. Man, this is gonna be a real good video. So there you have it guys, a real shady move towards the end of the race made me lose two spots and that's why I think in my mind I won. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.